What makes you a good leader is caring and paying attention, being silent and praying. And I do know that uh, in this Christmas season, if I'm the one who's going to bring leadership, this might be the most perfect opportunity for me to bring it. Can you, in fact, see that this is the birth of your leadership in the midst of what looks like a horrible mistake? Just the other day, listening to a television show, I watch The Voice because I like to watch people sing beautifully, and there was this band on there, and he had a big necklace on, and I couldn't tell if it was just a cross or a crucifix, but as he was singing, it was bouncing around on his chest. And I realized that to some people, that's God. So the opportunity that Christmas is bringing of something being born about possibility, if the only way you know that is through identification with the death of Jesus as opposed to the birth of Jesus, that can be a very confusing way to experience life and love and possibility. But to find your real name and your real song means you have to lead and be fully loving as yourself. You can't be singing someone else's song hoping to make other people happy. And you can't be calling yourself something other than what's true of you, thinking that that will make everything better. True leadership is where you care about your world, you bring the blessing, and you receive the blessing. But I don't really um, think the bringing of the, the spirit of leadership, of silence in heaven and of prayer, has to do with what we've been distracted with. Not that the exchanging of presents and the celebration isn't wonderful. We can, let's enjoy that, but let's not be fooled that the responsibility we have is to be the hope, to handle the hopes and fears of all the years because we're born.